Hello everyone, welcome to AKMIS Academy. Today is 10th February 2025 and we are going to discuss one most important article which appeared in Hindu editorial today regarding with the Aerospace Expo 2025 which is going to be held between 10th to 14th February 2025. So what is its historical context and what are those particular uh, fighter planes which are going to be visible at this particular Aero Expo and what is its significance and what all are the space segments or defense related flights which we have clear jet planes which we have they are those particular segments which are going to be discussed here. So this particular Aero India Expo 2025 it's scheduled to be held at Indian Air Force Base at Bangalore as I've said it represents more than just an aviation exhibition. If you see this kind of Aero Expo exhibitions, they are very important. The reason behind it is, it is also a strategic platform for innovation where people would visit this particular expo and they would enhance this particular innovation in this region by seeing certain new models. Chances are there new ideas might come, new thoughts might come. And this is also a place where global alliance, alliances which are there, they generally tend to strengthen. And along with that, the propelling technological advancements in the aerospace and defense sector. And this is 15th edition of Aero Expo as such. And it is making India's position a key player in the global aviation and defense sector as of now. So India in phase of last 15 years, let's say from 2008-9 until this 2025, these kind of expo events which have been happened, they have created a change, huge change. They have brought a huge change in the Indian aero industry market as such. It is very important for Indian industries as of now, as you know, for aero industry segments, we generally rely upon the market segment. So the entire journey, first we will try to see the entire journey of Aero India, where a legacy of transformation. So the first early beginnings was between 1996 to 2005, when humble beginnings and early growth. This is the time phrase frame when the first 10 years where we have started up setting up this particular inaugural edition of Aero India in 1996. It was a modest affair and primarily this particular phase 1996 to 2005 aimed at showcasing India's existing aerospace capabilities. So this only focused upon showing what India had and attracting foreign investment in this particular sector. So this was the first humble beginning which we have started in this Aero India which has been a legacy of transformation and it provided an initial platform for domestic and international aviation companies to explore business opportunities. So those particular companies also used to visit this particular Aero India Expo, Aero Expo India and they used to uh, develop their particular market of standard let it be the domestic companies or international companies as such. And while the scale was limited, the event set the foundation. Despite this scale, this particular segment between 1996 and 2005, it did not give a heavy end or heavy output as such. But this particular event has given clear a multiple segment like a foundation was created for what India's aviation industry is in the present. So the foundation has been laid definitely between 1996 to 2005 and during the early 2000s Air India gained recognition, Aero India gained recognition so somewhere five years down the line and among global defense manufacturers leading to increased participation from countries like Russia, Israel and United States where this period also saw India gradually expanding its domestic aerospace industry. Clear. So India initially started this Aero Expo program where domestic and international players have come and they have increased their particular markets along with the few different countries which wanted to exhibit their particular segments. They also have joined hand with India exclusively in the initial phases. It was Russia, Israel and United States which have joined. And this was the second phase mainly during the Congress government era between 2005 to 15th, which has strengthened the domestic capacities. 
and aero india witnessed a sharp rise in international participation with leading aerospace giants such as boeing lockheed martin dassault aviation and airbus all establishing a strong presence in this particular phase this is the time frame when india's aviation sector have dominated at a large scale and in this regard uh, in this particular decade if you see we have marked major defense procurement deals clear so including the acquisition of advanced fighter dassault rafale deal where people generally now also they comment the congress government on this particular rafale scam and sukhoi su 30 mki sukhoi su 30 mki and lockheed martin ka c30 c130j super hercules so defense major procurement deals whichever have happened that happened in this particular phase so try to gather some information regarding with rafale and try to gather information regarding with sukai su 30 mk and lockheed martin c 130 j concurrently india intensified its effort to develop indigenous defense platforms too so initially india had did great but later on in this particular phase of 2005 to 15 india intensified to develop indigenous defense systems and during this phase itself if you see india has developed this light combat aircraft called as tejas which is an ambitious project led by hindustan aeronautical limited which gained prominence during aero indian exhibitions itself showcasing india's ability where when they have showcased this particular tejas it has shown india's ability that india can also design and manufacture world-class fighter aircrafts if you see this is that particular tejas aircraft light combat aircraft which you can see in this particular picture india's first indigenously designed and developed so the project first conceived and launched in 1983 made in test flight took place on 2001 and designed for air to air air to ground air to sea combat roles intended to replace phased out mig 21 flights so these are the specifications and unit cost is somewhere around 202 250 crores in between clear so in this way we have developed the indigenous light combat aircraft clear and in the phase number three if you could see 2015 to present this is modi era you know and you know there are huge developments which have happened during this where in this particular phase india had a shift in this particular aviation industry India had a shift towards self-reliance and also a global partnership and leadership as well. The past decade has been transformative for India's aerospace and defense industries and Aero India has played a pivotal role in shifting this segment. Under the leadership of Modi, the Indian government has aggressively pursued self-reliance in defense manufacturing. So initially humble beginning, self-reliance nahi but coming to the third phase we have uh, developed self-reliance in this particular defense manufacturing asset through initiatives like Make in India program. Everyone know about Make in India program and Atma Nirbhar Bharat, you know, where government has given certain amount of funding to boost the sectors to make for Make in India campaign to be developed as such. And these policies like Make in India and Atma Nirbhar Bharat, which have been present, they have encouraged private sector participation into this defense, promoted domestic production and reduced dependence on forest import, foreign imports. Despite we also import spare parts from foreign, but assembling and design everything happens in this particular segment. And Aero India has evolved from a showcase of global technologies into a platform where India demonstrates its growing aerospace capabilities as such. So, if you see the, in this particular Aero Expo, which is going to happen in 2025, these are the best showcases which you can have an eye upon. SU-57 and F-35. SU-57 and SF-35. One of the most anticipated highlights are these particular two. Uh, so, world's most advanced fighter aircrafts. Russia ka jo Su-57 hai and America ka F-35. So the unpresented participation underscores India's growing importance in the global defense. So if you see this is the Russian Su-57. 
है ना दिस इज द फाइटर प्लेन इट्स द फिफ्थ जनरेशन मल्टी रोल फाइटर जेट डू रिमेंबर दिस राइट नाउ वी आर इन द सिक्स जेनरेशन एरा बट स्टिल द लेगेसी ऑफ फिफ्थ जेनरेशन एरा इज कंटिन्यूइंग इट इज फिफ्थ जेनरेशन मल्टी रोल फाइटर जेट डिजाइन फॉर एयर सुपीरियरिटी एंड ग्राउंड अटैक मिशन एयर सुपीरियरिटी एंड ग्राउंड अटैक मिशन इट फीचर्स स्टेल्थ टेक्नोलॉजी एडवांस एवियोनिक्स एंड सुपर मैन्यूवरेबिलिटी मेकिंग इट ए फॉर्मेडेबल फोर्स इन मॉडर्न एरियल कॉम्बैक्ट so if this is present then maximum chances are there we are going to win the air warfare you know with its capability to engage multiple targets simultaneously and operate in contested air space air space this s su57 represents russia's most advanced fighter technology and coming to america's f35 this is america's f35 so the lockheed martin company f35 Lightning II is considered the most technologically advanced stealth fighter in the world. So this presence of F-35 at Aero signifies India's growing defense ties with the United States. And uh, as everyone was shackling behind that, Trump's administration is not going to give us grit. But this F-35 presence in the Aero Expo will be giving us a greater chance of. defense ties which are growing between india and us so by bringing these two cutting edge aircrafts in the same event aero india 2025 will provide aviation experts policy makers and defense analyst with a rare opportunity to compare their capabilities and for performance first in hand clear so by side by side if they are present they can compare the capabilities performances and they can bring up more and more designs approximately it is estimated that 7 lakh people are going to attend this particular event and which is one of the most important segment and india's indigenous technology breakthrough if you see clear the advanced medium combat aircraft this is also going to be showcased along with this particular su57 and f35 we are also having the specification and expo interference of indigenous technological breakthrough that is advanced medium combat aircraft so it is one of the most significant moments of india's aero expo 2025 will be the unveiling of india's most fifth generation fighter jet which is developed by aeronautical development agency and hindustan aeronautical limited clear both have developed this it is a major step towards india's goal of achieving self reliance in military aviation so india is slowly moving towards this particular segment of self reliance as such and this amca which is there it is designed as a twin engine multi role stealth fighter with advanced avionics super cruise capabilities and internal weapons carriage for reduced radar visibilities so have a i focus on su57 f35 and amca the advanced medium combat aircraft in this particular expo showcasing the role of startups and innovation the manthan platform so where by ad addressing this particular ex expo many startup companies clear they can come and they can check the performances and they can gain huge amount of knowledge from it it is not just only an aerospace jains meeting but it is also about creating innovation at the grassroots levels and this is one of the most important segment you have to understand and the visitors experience and global engagement is however high with over 7 lakh visitors expected substantial logistic improvements have been implemented in collaboration with national and state governments they include optimized traffic management bangalore ka traffic aapko pata hi hai and expanded road infrastructure and enhanced shuttle transportation services and real time monitoring for this particular congestion control and a multi tiered security strategy as you know as global leaders attend this particular summit uh, we should have an improved security strategy and improved seating zones dining facilities and also dedicated and a dedicated aero india 2025 mobile applications will further ensure a seamless and endless engaging experience for the attendees approximately 7 lakh visitors is not a small number clear so this event will not only features static aircraft exhibitions but also have captivating aerial displays live technology demonstrations hame hawai 
जो जहाज है फाइटर प्लेट है जेट प्लेन सो दे विल ऑल्सो शो हाउ इट इज रनिंग दे विल देर वी वुड बी हैविंग लाइव टेक्नोलॉजी डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन एंड इंटरक्टिव सेमिनार्स ऑफरिंग वैल्यूबल इन साइट्स सो वी वुड बी गेटिंग ए लाइव एक्सपीरियंस चांस ऑफ विजिटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर सेगमेंट and such an immersive experience will provide industry stakeholders and enthusiasts with a deeper understanding so that startups can come and push and make uh, these particular aircrafts in india itself making india more self reliant in this particular defense aviation sector clear so coming to this it is more than an exhibition it's a powerful statement of india's intent to become a global leader this is one of the conclusive lines which you have to focus it is not just an exhibition it is a showcase of what india is capable of in its particular manufacturing sector in this aero industry in defense and aerospace production by bringing technological gaps focus on innovation in india we have this technological gaps so by these kind of aero exhibitions we can fill up this particular technological gaps and we can focus on innovation point number 2 and we can strengthen international partnerships whoever would come chances are there we might have collaborations with them and this event serves as a crucial catalyst in india's journey towards self reliance in this particular aviation sector or aerospace sector as the country continues investment in this cutting edge aerospace technology and expand its global footprint this aero india 2025 will play a pivotal role in shaping the future of india's defense and aviation industry so simply the entire article is about aero expo 2025 what are the benefits which india can take from it how the startups can learn from it and how india is proclaiming it as a global leader by inviting different participants all across the world and it is also showing a greater reliance of ties of india russia and us where the russia ka sukhoi 57 and america ka f35 which are there they are also participating in this particular event so it shows the greater military and defense ties between these particular three countries it's not a trilateral thing but it's india and russia separately india and us separately clear yeah. so whenever you get any article related with this particular aviation sector try to enhance this particular segment effectively chances are very great hopefully in prelims or mains if you not get a question at least in personality test you would be getting a question from this particular regard clear so hope you have enjoyed this particular video if you have enjoyed it it please click on the like button and also share this video as much as you can so if you haven't subscribed to akamis academy channel please do subscribe to akamis academy channel click on the bell icon so that you would be getting continuous notifications thank you for watching this have an awesome day jai hind